everyone. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like planning, lifestyle, decorating, vlogs, DIYs, cooking, basically if you like anything, you are going to find something that inspires you here. And if not, just hang out for some positivity and just a little light. Because for me, that is what this is all about. I am so excited about today's video because I have jumped full steam into the world of digital planning. And I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of you over on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me over there, you should be. I'll leave my information all linked down below. I'd love to catch up with you over there. But a lot of us have felt really intimidated by digital planning. And I'll be honest, earlier this year, I gave it a try and I found it really frustrating and a little overwhelming. Since March, I've gone back into it because I've had a little bit more time, I've done my research, and I have learned to really love it. I believe it's increased my productivity, I find it very relaxing, very calming, and just an overall really enjoyable, flexible, and customizable experience. And today, I'm excited to just simply share the things that I've learned to simply get you beginning. Because let's face it, that is the toughest part. So today's video is about getting the planner from where you purchase it into an app where you can use it and some tips and tricks and how to manipulate things as you go. Moving forward, I'm going to do a monthly plan with me where I will get to share the new things I've learned, the new products I've discovered. In the meantime, every planner that I mention or work with in today's video is going to be linked down below in case you want to get the same exact one. Without further ado, let's jump on in. The first thing you're going to want to do is download a program that you can open your planner in. For me, I use GoodNotes, and particularly GoodNotes 5, which I've really been enjoying. Now, digital planning is just like regular planning. It's super personal, and there are lots of options. I started by using the Boss Planner, but recently I've had more time to do some research and have found many on Etsy that I've enjoyed and played with, but they all kind of function the same. So today we're going to be looking at one that I found on Etsy that I've really been enjoying. Let's talk about how you just get the planner up and running. Because if you are a beginner like me, that's the first thing that intimidated me was figuring it out and then I realized how easy it actually is. I'm going to go ahead to the Etsy shop where I purchased my planner. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download that planner. As you can see, it is opened up on my Safari but it's not useful, it's in a PDF form. All you do is you go up to this icon. It's the box with the arrow. You wanna click on that, and then after you've already downloaded GoodNotes, it'll have an option that says copy to GoodNotes. So I'm gonna say copy to GoodNotes. My GoodNote app opens. You want to import as a new document, and literally right there is your planner. If you are in GoodNotes and you hit that back arrow, it'll always take you there. And then you have the option by clicking here and changing the name of the planner. As you can see, I have two open because I have already set this planner up. I have gone ahead and opened up my planner. It's the one that we just downloaded in. And I'm going to go ahead and show you some features of this one that I particularly really like. These black fonts, they come blank because it allows you to make the tabs whatever you want. So you can see that I did daily journal, travel journal, content planning, home inspiration, work-related affirmations, book tracker, purchases, goal tracker, project plans, and quotes. And then there's also a year at a glance. Right now, my pen in the top right corner is blue. That means whatever I click on, all the hyperlinks are going to work right now. As soon as I click that pencil, you see the toolbar come up. That means now I can write wherever I want to on my planner. If you want your links working, the first thing you want to do is make sure that that circle is blue and that toolbar isn't showing. This planner is so amazing. I do really like the color scheme, even though I'm not much of a pink person. It has that mustard and tan that I kind of really like the vibe of it. So I'll show you what I set up so far. In here is my daily journal. 
I actually put these pages from this extra page section that we're going to talk about in a little bit. The cool feature about this planner is if you hit the coils, it always takes you back to your index page. Then I also have this travel journal. I just did some nice lined paper. I have a content planning section. I have my home inspiration where I'm going to collect pictures of inspiration for seasonal decor as well as just everyday decor. I have a work-related section where I can take meeting notes. Then in this section here, I made a section for affirmations. Once again, this was an extra page that I added. I have a book tracker where I can write books that I'm reading. I have an expense tracker for purchases that I make during the month. I also set up a goal tracker for me. It's a weight loss tracker. I actually simply downloaded this image from Google's and inserted it. I'll show you how to do that as well. Then I have a project planning page and also a place to collect quotes that I really like. Then these already come populated. Like I said, I made these. A year at a glance shows up for you. A goal section as well as a vision board. As you see, I've not had time to really work within those. The next is your month tabs are at the top. So right here is my July calendar. What I love about this is if you tap the bottom right, it takes you to your weekly page. If you tap the number, let's go to this one, it takes you to your daily page. And then what's really nice is when you're in your daily page, you can do a lot of copying and pasting. It's not like working with a paper planner where all of a sudden if you make a mistake, it's like permanent or there's like a mark left. I love the fact that I can make a mistake and easily delete it. Let's just say I'm going into tomorrow. So I can just turn the page to tomorrow and I haven't planned it. But I need all of these times written out in this section. You'll also see that these look very different and that's because I added things over it, which once again, we're going to talk about. The great thing is I can turn my pen on and there's this lasso tool right here. I can click this lasso tool and I can circle those times. I can say copy. I can come right over here I also picked up the post-it by accident. And I can just easily paste them on tomorrow's page. Say I want tomorrow's layout to look exactly the same. I can come in here and I can literally take my lasso tool. I can copy that. I can go to tomorrow. I can hit paste. I can literally lay this right over. Say I'm a little off. I don't like how I'm crossing out that circle and over a little too much. I can simply grab it again and I can adjust it. Isn't that amazing? Let's say I didn't want this yay sticker. If you click on the picture, once you start tapping each of these individually, I can now move this one wherever I want it to be. That is one thing that I'm absolutely loving about digital planning is that I can simply grab things and replicate layouts that I really, really like and that are already working for me just by copying and pasting. And I find that it just speeds up the process. Even this, let me show you. This text box, I clearly did not handwrite that. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna drag it over so tomorrow looks just like today because I actually really, really like this setup. Now, I just brought over this text box because that's not my writing, I wish it was, and this post-it, but I wanna work with this text box and change the date for tomorrow. I can literally tap the text box, tap my font, delete that out, hit 17, 20, and done. It's just so nice to work with. And then what's really nice, say today I don't get to revising this August calendar. I can go here, I'm gonna turn off images and I'm gonna turn off text boxes because I only wanna grab my handwriting. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to circle revise August calendar. And I'm going to hold it down, I'm gonna hit copy. I'm going to go now to tomorrow and I'm gonna hold down, I'm gonna hit paste, and I'm going to put this as my first to-do because I didn't get it done. That's what I love about digital planning. It's just so easy to manipulate and move day to day. Once you master this lasso tool, that's like the game changer for me. Now let's talk about adding extra pages. So 
for my links to work, I need to make sure that blue circle is on and I'm going to click here on this tab that says extra pages. Now, not every planner will come with extra pages, but most do have templates. Even the boss planner has templates. This one just has a really great source of extra pages. So let's look at this weekly reflection. I'm gonna click the three circles at the top and say copy page. Now for this planner, as soon as I hit that coil, it takes me back to my index. Say for that page, I wanna put it here in my daily journal. I'm going to click the four squares that show a grid of your pages. So I'm gonna go there. It's highlighted where I'm at. I'm on page 518 in my daily journal. I'm going to go below and I'm gonna say add page after. I'm gonna say paste page. Boom, my page is right there. I can do that as many times as I want. I just never wanna remove a page because that breaks the link. That's how you add pages. Now, let me show you how I add stickers. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to open my sticker book. What's awesome about GoodNotes is my planner is still a tab because I didn't close out the tab. I opened up a new tab, which is my sticker book. These sticker books are all PNG files. They are already pre-cropped. This one is divided into words, doodles, post-its, and more. So tomorrow, let's go to doodles and let's just add a sticker for the sake of adding a sticker. Let's use this lemon. I'm going to click that blue circle to make sure my links are no longer working, but my pen is, that toolbar showed up. I'm gonna click my lasso tool because if you remember, I had it turned on just for handwriting. I'm gonna turn on images and text boxes. I usually keep all three on unless I'm doing something really specific. I'm gonna circle this lemon. I'm gonna hold it down. I'm gonna say copy. I'm gonna go to my planner page. I'm not at my day. So I'm gonna turn my blue pen on so my links are working. I'm gonna hit July. And then tomorrow is the 17th, and this is what we had copied and pasted over. Now, I'm going to simply hold down. I'm gonna hit paste. There's my little lemon, and I'm gonna put my lemon right down here in this little corner, and that's how a sticker works. And if any time I wanna move that sticker, I can click on the picture icon, I can click my lemon, and I can move it up here. And I actually like it there a little bit more. So now, that is exactly how you add a sticker add a page. It's that simple. Now I want to show you how I use like a Google image to add into my planner. So once again, I want to turn my links on so that blue circle is on again. I'm going to hit my coils and I'm back at my opening page. I want to go into my daily journal and today I want to add a photo of something that brought me a lot of joy. Click off so my toolbar shows up and I'm going to make sure my picture is highlighted. My camera roll is all right here now, and I wanna put this picture of my cup of coffee outside. I can easily resize this. I'm gonna put that there on my journal page, and I want this really cute picture of Bubba's. I'm gonna put that on my journal page. It's so great because now this becomes like a living journal. That's why I think for my travel journal, it's gonna be great because I can put pictures on my trip in and have like a little photo album. I'm gonna turn my blue circle on and give you another example. I wanna go to my goal tracker and I'm gonna go to a blank page. I wanna add a weight loss tracker, so I'm going to click off so my toolbar comes up and I actually saved one from online. It comes right up. Now I can resize it to fit this section. Boom. And I have a weight loss tracker. I can literally use anything that I find that I want to incorporate into my planner and just add it in. I want to duplicate this on the other side, so I'm going to hold off. I'm going to copy and paste it real quick. It'll stay the same size. I can line it up. Perfect, and I wanna move this one just a little bit. I simply, simply adore this. Once again, I'm gonna turn my blue circle on, turn all my links, come right back. That is basically all you need to know to get started digital planning. Like I said, you can add pages, never take them away. It's so forgivable with mistakes but I have been enjoying it immensely. I'm so glad I found this planner in particular because I find it so 
easy to use and to navigate. And I hope that this lets you be a little less intimidated by digital planning because I will tell you when I first tried it, I definitely, definitely felt that way. Well, my friends, that is the first video of this digital planning adventure that we are going to go on together. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and share it with anyone that you think would also enjoy this channel. That's how we grow a community. I wanna thank you so much for spending the most precious gift you have to offer, your time with me. It has been a pleasure to bring this to you. I hope it was informative. I also hope that you will jump into the world of digital planning. With that, I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends.